Did you know objects that block light are called opaque objects? And some objects don't block light, like a window. These are called transparent objects. Hi, All Stars, it's Miss Fields, and I am back with another STEM superhero. This STEM superhero is a weatherization technician. Do your parents ever tell you to turn off the light when you leave the room? Do you forget to unplug your electronics? We waste massive amounts of energy every day. What can we do about all that wasted energy? Helping communities save energy is the job of a weatherization technician. Weatherization technicians use their superhero power of data analysis to understand the current energy use in buildings. After reviewing this data, they develop a plan to save energy by protecting buildings from outside elements, reducing electricity usage from lighting, heating, and cooling. Some tips for weatherizing include installing energy-saving light bulbs, Replacing or repairing heating systems, updating appliances, updating windows or window seals, insulating attics, walls, and floors. Weatherization technologies are helping people understand and save energy. Thermostats are now digital and wireless, allowing people to control the temperature in the home from a phone. Smart switches in homes and businesses help to conserve energy by automatically turning off lights when people leave the room. LED light bulbs use 90% less energy. Weatherizing homes, businesses, and schools saves money and uses less energy, which is good for the environment as well. Our superhero is Jean Diggs. Jean Diggs learned about weatherization on the job as one of the founders of the federal government's weatherization assistance program. For over 40 years, she used her superhero power of communication to help people improve their lives and their homes. From writing the first set of program regulations to present new rules and tips to grantees, she provided weatherization data that communities needed to solve problems. Diggs spent most of her career at the Department of Energy, and she retired in 2011. Today, the Jean Diggs Weatherization Assistance Program Championship Award is given to individuals who are true champions of weatherization. And this is a picture of Jean Diggs before she retired in 2011. Thank you, Jean Diggs for helping to make our buildings and schools more energy efficient and weatherized. Hello, All-Stars. My art students know that we have been doing a free art Friday on um, Fridays. It's an art club where we get together and make art and share our work together. But with all the schedule changes happening in the month of March and all the different days off and returns to school and certain grades doing this and other kids doing that, we're, it makes more sense to just cancel Free Art Friday for this week. And we are going to put a pause on our art club for the month of March. But don't worry. In April, we will start back up and I will find a time that makes the most sense for the most students at home or at school or wherever they are 
probably Mondays, but I don't know yet. So be on the lookout in your Art Canvas course and for announcements on HBTV. And I will let you know when we start back up again. And when we come back from spring break, and we start the fourth quarter, we'll be starting our art club again. And hopefully we'll be used to all our new routines. All right, so I won't see you for our club this Friday, but be on the lookout and I'll see you in art class next week. Bye. tails they love nuts you find them all around parks just you don't want to startle them if you startle them then they might bite you but if you just enjoy their presence it, they are so wonderful wonderful creatures being outside makes me feel good to get an opportunity to get some fresh air to play in the snow when it snows.